What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for the super quick video and today we'll be talking about do you even need workhorse badge? So with this one here we'll talk about how much is the boost visually and let's see if there's any sweet spot and for the main topic is it worth it? And by the way after watching please leave any feedback like do you think workhorse is important? So now let's get right into it. I know at this point that almost everyone knows how this badge works, but for those who don't know, Workhorse will increase your ability to get loose balls. It won't help you to get rebounds directly from mid-air, you know the normal rebounds. It will only help you if someone already tipped the ball like this one, or if the ball hit the floor first. And of course it helps you as well on picking up the ball when the ball gets loose from interceptions. So now for the next part, visually, how much is the boost? So to give you an idea, here's the difference between no badge and Hall of Fame. And to see if there's any sweet spot, I made a test. In here, I timed each badge upgrade the moment it crossed the ruler up to the securing of the ball. In that way, we can see the speed difference. Last year, there was a snap at a stamina bar at the start of the pickup animation. So I had something to refer to when to start the timer. But this year, it was gone. So I have to improvise some other way. And now for the results, in here you can see that it's linear, which means there's no sweet spot at all. So if that's the gap between Hall of Fame and no badge, that means that if you cut it in half, there'll be silver. Then if you cut it in half again, that'll be bronze. So everything will be equal. So now for the main topic, is it worth it? Of course it depends, but for me personally, for the most part, I think it's worth it. Especially if it's only worth one badge upgrade point on your build. I'm not saying that you should put it on Hall of Fame. I just think that it deserves at least bronze. So you have an advantage for those who don't have it. But of course, there'll be situations that it deserves on Hall of Fame. For example, in my case, all the necessary badges are all maxed up. And the only choice I have left is if I'm putting more on off-ball pest or pick dodger. But for me, I would pick the badge that will give me possession. So for me, I think workhorse is the most important. I know it looks small if you look at it visually, but on a loose ball perspective, that small difference there really matters. Especially if you usually play park modes where one possession matters a lot. You can even see on the clips, I think the main reason why I secured those, even though it looks like position-wise they're on the advantage, I think it's because of the badge. So now for the summary, the stat on this badge is linear, which means you can push it to Hall of Fame if you really want to, because there's no saturation point. And here's the visual difference between no badge and Hall of Fame. And for me personally, this badge is really worth it. You can give it at least bronze. And of course, you can push it to Hall of Fame if you really want to. So again, please let me know in the comment section what you think. Is it worth it? So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming, guys. Peace.